All right, we are back in the kitchen of Capra's Kitchen. So we are making uh, another recipe here that I'm testing for the summer. For these next few months, I would love to do a braised calamari in potato and tomato sauce, okay? So with a potato and tomato sauce. Very classic, the flavor is amazing. So first we need potatoes, okay? You can use fingerling and just slice them, don't bother to peel them. I'm using some uh, new Yukon Gold. So I want the potatoes to be all the same size, okay? It's imperative, okay? Uh, because they cook all at the same time and they're a lot better. So this is a very classic uh, Southern Italian uh, recipe. Calamari, everybody loves calamari. Not so many people love squid. Interesting fact, you wanna sell it, you call it calamari. If you call it squid, everybody just squirms. Now I wanna cut my potatoes in half and then cut them again in uh, wedges. This was one of my favorite way of roasted potatoes. Like this, they have so many corners and angles that they get beautifully crisp. Put them in clean water before you boil them. Okay, you need to keep the potatoes in water, all right? Very simple. Boom, this is fabulous. Okay, so now I'm going to the sink, I'm going to rinse it in cold water. Take away a little bit of the starches and a little bit of uh, eventual dirt. It's always best to peel them first and then you just rinse them out, wash them, make them clean. Then I have a pot of water. I'm uh, starting them off cold. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. With potatoes, you always cook them with salted water. It's a good idea. It maintains the integrity of the flavor and also season the potato inside, which is something that you must, must do. All right, so potatoes are on the stove. They're gonna be boiling in about five minutes. They're gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. Let me explain to you all of the flavors that we're going here. It's very, very simple as well. Okay, we have garlic, olive oil, oregano, dry oregano, and this oregano over here it's not the one that you find already rubbed in a, in a container in the supermarket, okay? We buy the oregano wild on the stem, uh, either from Greece, Calabria, Sicily, whatever, but it's on the stem, and then we beat the stem, get all the leaves off, and then we put it through one of our uh, colanders, and we remove all of the excess sticks, and we break it really nicely, and, and it's absolutely the best oregano that you can possibly use. Amazing, it's available everywhere. So don't tell me the story, you can't find it. If you have the one in your cupboard, just throw it away. It's probably like six months old, a year old, and it's already garbage to begin with. So get rid of it. Get the one on the stem, it's the only way to go. So oregano, then tomato on the stove. I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken stock in it. And then we have this blend right here. This blend is very simple. It's capers, olives, anchovies, a little bit of parsley, and olive oil. This is my puttanesca base. This flavors with calamari, man. You can't go wrong. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we need calamari. Calamari is this. Basically, it's a squid inside. Then there's sometimes there is a little plastic looking uh, bone and you need to remove it, okay? Because, you know, idiot people, they get this one on the plate and then they go, there's a piece of plastic in my food. Because they're too stupid to know about uh, calamari biology. Sorry. So I'm taking away the beak right here. Now, I'm gonna cut these. First, I remove the wings, okay, like that. I have the, the tube, which is the body of the calamari. I'm gonna go just rings, the classic way, but a little bit thicker. And calamari takes like seconds to cook. I mean, you don't wanna overcook these, because the more you cook them, the tougher they get. When you cook them for a lot longer, then they end up getting dry, so I don't really care for them. And this is, this is it. Okay, that's all, that's all I'm doing. Okay, so, olio d'oliva. I'm gonna put a little extra garlic. Boom, right in. I'm going to put a little pinch of oregano. I wanna have a little bit of the garlic. I just wanna fry it up a little second, and that's it. See, just like that, right? I mean, the garlic softens up, and that's enough. I'll put my puttanesca base in it. Stir, stir, stir. Beautiful chunks of garlic. It's gonna show up so beautifully on the plate. It's actually sweet, very, very delicious. You don't want to fry it, okay? I mean, you don't wanna fry it for too long. You don't want to change the color or anything. It's just that the anchovies in it need to cook and melt. Then you're gonna add the, the wine, a little splash. This will stop the, the frying and will start extracting all of the flavor. We're gonna make the wine evaporate. You never want to have leftover acidity from raw wine in your food because that, that will create a, 
a bad taste. Sometimes it leaves bitterness, sometimes it leaves uh, just alcohol flavor, which is really not, not pleasant. We can add the tomato, just like that, boom, and stir it. Give me a little, I like to use a little chicken stock here, put it in, just like that. Cook, 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 cook. Now we have to let it boil. Now, calamari, I wanna dry them out as much as I can. So now what I can do is this. I can just put a little tiny bit of oil, just like so. A little tiny bit of salt, not too much. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. <clears throat> Boom, and then, let me do it. That's a crazy way of doing it, but uh, I'm going to anyway. I just wanna just give it a quick sear. Look at the sauce, see that? I need to get the potatoes out of the water. Potatoes are cooked. Put the potatoes in. Let the potatoes uh, cook away. Oh yeah. I want to give them a little bit of sear, not too much, because I want to cook them again in the, in the water, so let me fish them all out. Fresh, 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 and beautiful grilled smell, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna throw them in here. See? Now we're gonna finish cooking them for a minute or so. I'm gonna taste it, make sure that it's uh, appropriate. Okay, a little bit more salt. Guys, you put a touch of lemon in here and it gives a beautiful freshness. If you wanted to, you could even put a little bit of lemon rind in it and it would be amazing. Look at that. That's a beauty. Give it a good hit of chopped parsley. Boom, throw it in. Let it stir a little bit. Italian parsley brings freshness. That's done. Finished. I don't want to do anything else to it. I, I'm a server left to righty. Come on, look at that. Eh? People that know how to eat calamari, they know that the head is what it's at. Beautiful little crunch, you know what I mean? A little gummy. You know, it's got beautiful flavor. And to finish that off, look at this. Set, set, set. Set, set, set. And uh, let's see if there is a little piece of bread here just for show. Ha <laughs> I got La Colina in bulk. Because I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna get one of these, and then I'm gonna go. This is so good. The only thing better than this is to be eating this by the seaside somewhere in southern Italy. Nothing like it. Calabria, Campania, Sicilia, Puglia. Mm. Basilicata. Oh. 